Oh yeah, what's up everybody? This is Barry at Titans of CNC. So today we're continuing our series on cast iron. If you picked up our last video, you would have seen the Core 6 end mill glowing red. It made for a great video, but it wasn't how we were gonna run the actual part. So today we backed things down. We found that sweet spot where we were able to find balance between our tool life and material removal. So right now we're running about two inches deep. 10% step over, and we're getting a material removal rate of 18 cubic inches per minute. You'll notice the tool is sticking out quite a bit, and we couldn't get away from that because we're roughing the outside of the part and the inside of the part with the same tool. So in aerospace, we don't see much cast iron, but if you're working in a shop that does cast iron day in, day out, a little change to your tooling can make a huge difference in time savings and your profitability. So here we're using an HPR drill and a Beyond Tap from Kenna Metal, and both of these tools are beasts in cast iron. So we're gonna drill our 3 8 16 holes at 130 inches a minute, which is incredibly fast. We got our through spindle coolant at 1,000 PSI, just blowing the chips right out of the hole. Then we're gonna come in there with our Beyond Tap from Kenna Metal at 117 inches a minute and just blast those threads right through this part. And that's it for this operation. So all we gotta do now is we're gonna take the part off of our tombstone, put our pull studs straight into the part, and reattach it to the tombstone for the final operation. If you guys like what we're doing, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down in the comments section and I'll see you there. Thanks again.